Welcome back, monsters. I'm so excited for us to create our activity for today. In our Monster Madness box, we will be completing the Shrinking Monsters keychain activity. This is one of my favorite activities. Are you excited? To get started, we're going to need the following materials. Go ahead and grab the clear shrinking paper from your box, the keychain, some googly eyes, some glue, yellow paint, and then the following items are going to be at your house. Make sure you have a parent's assistance when operating an oven and using a baking sheet with aluminum foil. Before we dive in, the first step in this activity is to preheat your oven to 325 degrees. Again, go ahead and have a parent's assistance for this activity. You will need to preheat the oven to 325 degrees. While the oven is preheating, we can get artsy. Go ahead and grab your yellow paint and the clear shrinking paper and have those off to the side. With your finger, dip your finger in the yellow paint and we are going to coat all of your hand. Once your hand is fully coated, you should see that all of your wrinkles and everything will be captured when we make your handprint. Go ahead and hover your hand over top of the clear paper. Remember, hover, do not touch the clear paper just yet. Once you think it's lined up and ready, you're going to go ahead and push down your hand onto the clear paper. Be careful not to wiggle and smear your hand for the clearest results. Once you're finished and you feel like you've touched every finger and pushed it down gently, you can slowly remove and pull back your hand. Ta-da! This is what my handprint looked like. You can see that there is a hole punched out of your clear shrinking paper. This is important for our keychain making process. Be careful not to touch the hole with your handprint, and but to make it pretty close to where the hole is located. We're going to attach our keychain ring to this at the very end of our activity, but not yet. It is optional for you to take a pair of scissors and cut around your handprint to make a form-fitted cut. You can see that I chose to cut a nice curved edge around all of my fingers and thumb. Once you've cut it out, you can go ahead and check the oven with a parent. Is the oven preheated? It should be. Go ahead and make sure you have a baking sheet and some aluminum foil. Cover your baking sheet and set your shrinking paper on the baking sheet. It is most important that the color side is facing up. Remember, the color needs to face where? Up. Whenever you're ready and the oven's ready too, a parent can help you by inserting the baking tray into the oven. If you have an oven light, this is really cool to watch. If you don't, I'll let you see what it looks like too. While it's cooking, it only takes one to three minutes, but you can watch as your shrinky dink handprint shrivels up into a ball. Don't freak out. This is what it's supposed to do. How cool. Our shrinky dink handprint is going to shrink down to one third of the size of your original handprint. Super tiny, right? You can see that once it flattens all the way back out, it's ready to come out of the oven. You can have a parent remove the baking tray from the oven and set it up to the side to cool. Give your handprint a few minutes to cool down before touching it. I know you're super excited, but we don't wanna burn our fingers. Next, you can see I held my handprint with my original hand just so that you could see how much it shrank. Remember, I told you it's going to shrink to about one third of the original size. Do you see how tiny my monster hand looks? We want to make our handprint turn into a wild shrinking monster. Use the glue and some googly eyes to create some eyes on your handprint. Then you can go ahead and use the keychain provided to put through the hole that you had hole punched in the clear shrinking paper. 
This hole is pre-punched for you. So be cautious of where it's located and go ahead and thread your keychain through there for a finished look. You did it. I am so proud of you. Remember to turn off your oven after this activity and say thank you to your parents for their kind assistance. I am so proud of the monster madness that happened today. These masterpieces are fantastic. Go ahead and share an image with DeArt via social media or by email if you would like to. Give us a call today if you have any questions about our Shrinky Dink Shrinking Monsters activity.